Hello everyone, uh, my name is Hasted for those who don't know. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests lately for a tutorial on this mob trap that I've been designing. Um, I tested it a lot during the 1.4 pre-release snapshots and all that good fun stuff. Um, I was getting, towards the end I was getting roughly 2,200 mob drops within a 10 minute period, not including ink sacks. Um, it's pretty simple. As you can see, the uh, mobs just drop down here and you pick them up. So um, I'm going to attempt to do a tutorial today. Hopefully I have everything organized and ready to go so it runs relatively smoothly. Um, but let's have a look at the f finished product without anything around it for now. Um, of course, um, I have it set up to where it's 100%, uh, I want to say 100% e efficient, but um, Everything that spawns is spawning inside the mob trap. That's so everything like say you have all of your caves or whatever lit, this is what this thing can produce. But um, as you can see here, the nether brick and the stone represents a different level. So each one of these is another level. So each level is three high, so two area, like two to stand on, and also a ceiling. So it is 120, 122 blocks, I think, tall. So we're at 124, so actually it's less than that. So uh, it fits under the 128 um, old sky limit or uh, build limit. Um, when you build above that, it can mess up your spawn rate. So everything that is in here is below 128 so that's something important um, it is ran by a relatively simple possibly overdone <laughs> however um, redstone circuit here um, all it is is just a simple timer I'm sure that somebody can find a way to make this exceptionally more compact um, I'm not that guy. I like this, how it's set up here. It's simple to me. I completely understand every part of it. That's the reason I did it this way. So if you want to change the timer, that is up to you. Um, but I will show you how to do it like this. So here is the finished product. Simple. And um, I think that's all the basics to go over right now. So... What I think I want to do is go ahead and just jump into a creative mode, uh, get some nice enchanted tools, and then try to build this, build most of it in survival, just so you can see how to do it in your survival games. So I'll see you in a minute in a flat world. Alright, back in a new world. So what you want to do is find a decent spot more however you want it. Um, just make sure you don't build it in a mushroom biome or a mushroom biome or whatever it's called because mobs do not spawn in that biome or at least they didn't t used to. I don't know if they do now but still. Um, so find a nice area um, preferably one that you are in or used to be in that uh, you light up the caves or something of the sort because um, that's going to play a huge role in the efficiency of it. But um, what you do is just find where you want to. Right here we're on uh, 64, which is sea level if I'm not mistaken. Um, dig down a square like this, all the way down to bedrock. So all the way down to 5. Six fast. So I'm going to fast forward this a little bit, but... Um, all we're doing is digging down. All right, we made it down all the way to the bedrock. Um, from here, you will want to make a, not too big of room, but just enough to kind of get some elbow room just so you can move around a little bit. Um, depends on whatever you feel like, to be honest. But uh, just dig out at least a little bit here. 
I'll make things a little bit easier for you. See, that's one every way. All right, um, right in the middle here, we're going to put a piston. And around here, we're just going to cover it up a little bit. Do, do, do. Actually, don't put one here. This is how you're going to get in. Just put a, a, a slab of any type right there. Redstone's right there. And... If I remember correctly, bam. Fill this part, part in. Again, don't put one there. Sorry about that. And at this level, go ahead and throw some slabs up. Grab a lever. And there you go. That should uh, open up just like this. What's happening? The power source is coming from this block, lighting this, and flipping that piston up. So. I figured this would be the easiest way to get in and out of the collection area. You can do it different if you like, but this is just how I decided to do it because it's exceptionally simple. I was trying to keep this entire thing simple for the most part. Um, what happens is this is where the mobs come and drop and this is, and they die here. All right, so we have the bottom part finished. Pretty easy, easy so far. Um, but go right here, and we are going to go 24 blocks up. So you can either pillar up there, or you can grab some ladders, and just go on up. This is the height that is needed for um, the minimum height for mobs to die. Oh, I lied. Hold on, sorry about that. I wasn't counting. I switch to creative just to grab these real quick. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, there we go. But, um, go 24 blocks up. And this is the height that's needed for mobs to die on impact besides Enderman. But this is not an Enderman farm, so we don't have to worry about them. Alright, at this level, you're going to dig 5 blocks in, so 1, two, three, four, five. Make a five by five square on each side. Three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And same thing right here. Take all this area out right here. This is going to be the first level of the mob trap. Make sure you don't fall. Skip this block here. That's going to separate the spawning pads. Oh crap, didn't mean to hit it that fast. One, two, three, four, and five. Pick the wrong spot. Two, three, four, five. This, um, this level is going to be just one block different than all the other ones. It's not that big of a deal. You don't really have to worry about it too awfully much. Go ahead. If you need to put uh, something here to get across, go ahead. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Let me get the other side real quick. Alright, so this is what we want to look at here for our first layer. Um, after you get this, pick one direction to go either this way or this way. Let's just go ahead and go this way for, for, um, for now. So we're going to dig two out here. We're going to put two blocks here. I'm sorry, you want that one out too. So a total of three. Do that number. We want to face the same way on this one, so one, two, three. Put 
down two glass blocks and we want to have them parallel with each other I guess go in the same direction so that see how they're all going in the same same direction these the lines of glass it's going that way so boop, boop, boop. they run with each other all right so this what happens here is the water comes down from here hits this glass block goes onto this one and it goes all the way to the end all right so that is the first level go ahead and throw some half slabs of whatever type you want in here this prevents spider spawning so we don't want those guys clogging up your system Oops. so that is level one finished all right so grab more ladders if you want or just um, pillar up whatever you prefer all right stack some more ladders go up three all right. at this level do the exact same thing you did at the first one making the five by five squares All right, we have the room set up here. Um, remember that our, if we look down here, our glass is running this way. So what we want to do first is break these two blocks and it'll open up this area right here. And then we want to break these three blocks and place our glass perpendicular to the other gl glass down there. So let me go back over here and do the same thing over here. First, break here, opens up this hole, and then break here, bam. So it's pr pretty much the exact same thing as the other one, but you have to break uh, another side. So right here is where our glass is going, and right here is the tube going down to the next layer. Forgot. Okay, so break these and break these three. So it's the exact same, just opposite direction, I guess. So that's that's it. That's all you have to do. And then we are going to repeat the exact same thing on the next level, making the glass perpendicular to the last one. So just keep changing which direction the glass is going. So next level the glass will face this way and then the one above that will be this way so I'm going to go up here real quick and do the exact same thing and I'll get right back to you alright this level's finished same thing as last time let's here just be safe so if we go down here and look our glass is running this way so what we need to do is open up the hole it shows the hole right here and then bust out these three blocks right here put our glass as you can see it's running perpendicular to the last glass and just repeat that pretty simple once you um, no, I'm sorry about that um, once you start uh, getting the hang of it it goes by pretty fast so you pretty much remember what direction your glass has been running and uh, just start hacking away. And then just keep repeating that up and up and make sure you just keep switching which direction the glass is going. And I will meet you at the top when we break through the surface because 64 blocks is just not quite enough for me. So that's three levels right here. Oh, hold on, actually, before I go up there, Let's show you how the water runs when we have this set up. So the water goes here, hits this block, part of it goes this way, and part of it goes down into this hole. That's why we have the hole that goes down to the next layer. And it does the exact same thing down here. It comes down from that hole. That's where the hole is that goes up. 
hits this block goes down here and also down here. This water does the exact same thing, comes from here, hits that water, comes out, but there's no hole right here since this is the first level and just flows right here. So the water just, can, just one stream of water on each corner goes all the way down to the bottom. I think this is where the water is, yeah. Come here. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> Uh, malfunction. Ah, there we go. Alright, so just keep repeating that and eventually you will make it. Let me set up a scenario up here. You will get to the point where you go to or make it to the surface. So let's say right about here we have to make our next layer. So, so Imagine, let me set it up real quick. I'll be right back. Let me set this up. All right, here we are. Um, let's imagine that we have been doing these these um, layers all the way up to here. So we're close to the surface, but not quite there yet. So we're going to imagine this is the way that our water is going, or that our next, uh, or our last glass block was. And we need to go this way. Place our glass. Oh man, this thing's so fast. And this is for our glasses again. Imagine. Alright, let's get down one more. And then all of our glass runs this way. Okay. <laughs> I just gotta try to barely tap it. Alright, one more real quick. Sorry about this. And just like that. So all of our glasses are still running this way. Just imagine this as a um, another layer. And then we need to go up here and make our next layer, but we're at the surface. So that's fine, just go ahead and do it. One, two, three, five. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, I think. Right, so here's our next layer, or our next uh, pads are. This is um, to a point where instead of just digging out where you need it to go, you have to actually build it. Um, however, when I made it, I dug a hole that was large enough to where I could just build it myself because I wanted to be able to see it all. So you don't actually have to do it like that, dig down. You can actually make it like a uh, 17 by 17 hole and do it this way. So um, you have, have it set up like this. Um, so first what you want to do when you get up to the surface here is build a pillar that goes, let's see if I can do this right, um, just like this. So we want it three high total. So we have we have this is where our um, ground layer is. So let's count this as one here, two, three. Okay. I can't fly. I don't know why I tried that. So do that on all the corners. Two and three. And just like there we go, just like that. Okay. Um, what I did is I went ahead and built these first, all the way up to like hundred and something, just to get it kind of started. So what you can do is two, three. Just keep building them up on each side until you have. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what that was. Until you have the desired height to you know start with, and then you can come back to it. Um, reason I did this is just kind of helped uh, lay things out for me. So we'll just go ahead and do it also. Remember to keep each one three high. So one, two, three. 
one, two, three. So we're going to repeat this to each one. Yeah, that's oh, one more. That's uh, good enough for now. At this point, it'd probably be good to have some interpol so you can get around easier. And just repeat the same thing all the way on each corner. So I'll get right back to you guys. All right, got the pillaring finished on each corner. That is not the maximum height that you can go, but um, it's a good start. So what we're going to do now is, let's go down here and check real quick, see what uh, direction our glass is running. It's running that way, okay. So just come up here, break this block, there you go, and just put your glass right here. Oops, a little bit too much there. Pretty easy. All right, so what you need to do now is make the, all the walls three high again. So we don't have where it's not three high, just go through here. Oops, there we go. Make sure you don't forget this. So that's three high now, including the grass. Remember, the grass is part of it. Just go ahead and put that there for now. Just so you can see. Pretty easy here. You'll run through quite a bit of blocks here though. So whatever you do build out of, uh, make sure you have plenty of blocks. And um, if you don't have your area lit up, which you should, um, try to stay away from things that Endermen can pick up, like if they just walk up to here and just snag something. So but that is however you want it. I would also try to avoid uh, What's that stuff called? Um, wool. Just in case lightning decides to try to ruin your day. Alright, so that's a level. But uh, make sure you take out these when you're finished with that level. Oink. Oink. Oops, I lied. I forgot this area. Oink. Actually, did I need to take that out? Oh, I'm sorry guys, don't need it. You can go ahead and put that there, I lied. I was thinking about the wrong thing. Go ahead and, yeah, there you go. You should only have one hole in each corner. For now. <laughs> I think. Yeah, that's right, yeah, because that's where the glass sits. Alright, so um, now you want to get your next layer, next layer up. So, what I found to be the easiest, you can do it however you like is to build the wall first. So one, two, three. Notice how it matches up with our um, stuff on the outside. So we want to have everything three high. And just go ahead and clog it all up. We can dig it out later. Again, once you start actually building it, you will Figure out oh, whatever is best for yourself. On what method. Oops. And the pros are amazing. Just like that. So here's another le um, layer. So just go through, make everything three high. 
Don't forget the centerpiece right here. Do, 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 do. Kind of boring here. Sorry about that. But I'm trying to be as thorough as possible so I don't like make a crappy tutorial where people don't quite understand it. Yeah, I went through quite a bit of blocks there. Yeah, in the in my world I have a I use silk touch on stone and I have plenty of stone brick, so that's the only reason why mine was stone brick. I just had to farm up some another another brick and it wasn't too big bad of, or too big of a deal. So um yeah, so once we have this, select the first layer right here and put a couple blocks just to jump down on it. And this is the layer where you need to put the next level. Again, you could start with this if you like. I don't like doing that. So I prefer it this way for some reason. Oh, and make sure you don't forget your half slabs there. I'm going to need more, more slab or more stone bricks. Here we go. There's two finished and three. And one more real quick. I don't think I have enough. Nope. So again, just remember which direction your uh, your last uh, glass is going or running. Well, that's enough. So it's running this way. So now what we go do once we have that finished is make our glass run this way and open up this hole. That's it. Place our glass. Again, um, once you start get going, you uh, you might realize what where not to put the block. So if you, as you're building these walls, you realize you shouldn't put bricks here, uh, which I'm not doing very well. So uh, might speed up the process, so you don't have to come through and dig it up again. But but if you don't want to do that, don't have to worry about it. Just do what I'm doing. It works. I think I did that for most of the time on mine anyway. So notice how all the glass is going the same direction. That's very important. And just keep repeating this. Build up a three high wall all the way around. Put down your floor, which will be right here next time. And build as high as you like, up to 120 roughly. All right, everyone, that's pretty much it for the actual um, how it's actually built the um, spawning pads and everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do one or two more in creative just in case um, people are still confused. If you want to skip ahead into the next part which will be the redstone part of it, um, I will try to remember to put a little 40 button thing in it. So um, yeah, if you understand it got it go ahead and skip forward a little bit and if not hopefully I can help you out a little bit so here we go let's jump into creative real quick and let's get some a couple more half slabs going here so let's go down here go ahead and half slab this area um, one tip while you're building this is to make sure you always have your spawning pads lit up. This should prevent all the spawns. So if you have to go down your ladder or something for some reason, it will be safe. So just spend the time to uh, put a torch there 
and it will save you time if a creeper decides to blow up your crap, which happened to me a couple times, actually. <laughs> Again, half slab this, just prevents spiders. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Mm -hmm. what, uh, just get this just so you can all see how it looks all together in a little area at least. There we go. This one should be the last. Yep. Doing this in creative just to speed things along. Shouldn't be get this out of here real quick. Shouldn't be too bad follow-up. Just do what I do. <laughs> in survival. Pretty simple though. Alright, so this is the level we're at. So if you're alternating blocks like I did, just go ahead and grab your other block. Pillar up three. That's the spot where you can have one. Don't put one above the glass, that's what it is. So if you want to speed things up a little bit, that's one way to do it. Uh, oh, that's actually where it's already pillared. Break that down. Yep, there you go. However you want to set it up. If you want to do two at a time, three at a time, sections at a time. What I was doing, I did one first and I pillared up two. So I can do this number. Seem pretty easy. Just change it up a little bit between layers just so you don't get too off the board. Oops, there we go. Alright. Now remember our um, glass is moving this way to that way. So that's going to affect how our next layer is. Oops. Almost finished here, guys. If you can hear my my loud, obnoxiously loud, rather, mouse click, I apologize. That's just how it is. Alright, so now you can just drop down here, build your ladders up again. And at the first layer here, make sure you have height of two. If, you, if you're not alternating colors or blocks, just make sure you can get through here with the height of two. Build your layer. This is the spot that the water needs to go down so you don't have to put anything there. Oops. And if you can hear cars or something out the window, I apologize. <laughs> um, and our glass needs to go here, just like that. There you go. Let's do the same thing over here. Oh, make sure you don't forget your half slabs and your torch. There we go. <laughs> and then just break this out. Glass it up. So now our glass is running this way instead of that way. I've said that 30 times, <laughs> I know. Unless you probably understand it. I just want to make sure I don't want to leave things out. I try to be, or trying to be, um, thorough. And I guess thorough means repetition. <laughs> Just like that. Of course it rains. Let me see if there's a way to turn off this rain. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that. So one more real quick. I almost forgot these. Of course, oops, get back here. Of course you can just uh, put the slabs in after you're finished, but I think there's, if you have them, might as well throw them down.
Uh-oh. Did I do something wrong here? Notice how that's... Oops, yep, I made, some, made a mistake there. Notice how <laughs> these are all lined up here on the pillars. On this pillar, I accidentally only made the another rack right here, or another brick right here, only too high. So just ignore this pillar for now. Break this, and this is where glass goes. Just like that. And if you want to test it every once in a while, granted you have to pick up uh, torches and such, but um, just test our output gla uh, water here. Get down here quick. Just watch it flow all the way down, however far you have it. Um, also, you could just use the water itself to prevent spawns if you really want to, but that means you have to keep water there and meh. But, hey, however you want to do it, it's your mob chat. Once you build it, it's yours. For now, it's mine. <laughs> oh, there we go. Torch this baby up. There we go. So that's another layer. Um, I hope that's clear enough for you guys. It's uh, pretty easy. Just keep pillaring up until you are at... Mm, let me think of uh, the right number real quick. All right, I think I have the right number. Um, you want to go up until 118, and then put the next floor on, and that floor should be sitting at 118, but don't build the walls, just put down a flat, pretty much a ceiling. So the ceiling should be at 119 blocks high, if I'm not mistaken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna MC edit this thing a little bit, and get to the point where it's that high. So I will be right back. All right, everyone. Um, if you guys, if you're the ones that skipped ahead, didn't watch the little last part that I told you that you didn't have to watch, um, this is where you want to start again. If you continue all the way up to where you're at 119, pretty sure I did this part right. Let me fall down here. All right. Just to make sure this is right. Um, this should be. Oh, it's up one too high. Um, it's it's fine. Just go up to whatever. My drop's just gonna be one high. I edited it in slightly high. Um, no big deal. Uh, so 118, 119, whatever. Wherever you start your first one, it's fine. So you're going to have all of these spawning spots. If you have your torches in them, nothing can spawn. So you'll be safe when you go up and down the ladder. Um, what you need to do, if you have any of these um, slabs, go ahead and start taking them out. So you want this entire area through here cleared. So I think that's the only ones I actually, no, oh, I see some more down there. So like if you did have them, go ahead and clear them out. Oh, no, that's actually down here. Okay. Um, next thing to do is um, go ahead and destroy this ladder. You don't need it anymore. Or shouldn't need it anymore, at least. Oh, this takes forever. Sorry about that. So, let's see if I can do this right without destroying everything. So, I'll meet you at the bottom. All right, if you haven't already, which more than likely you have, um, you need to make a entrance that you can get into. So we want to go, at, if this is up to you, however you want to do it, I don't know, just go out at least um, eight blocks, I think, from the center. That should be fine right here. And you can just pillar straight up if you want, and then ladder it up. Just for uh, time's sake, I'm just going to do that number no big deal just just so you can get down there and collect everything but um, once you get that finished go back down there you don't have to do it in that specific order I'm just saying um, back to the actual mob trap here um, what we're going to need to do is go ahead and put your half slabs all back um, get to get up here 
go ahead and break that again now I think about it. Um, get up one here and put a block right there. Oops, did not mean to break that one. All right, so what we're gonna do here, let me go back to survival. Um, you need this block in the center just so nothing comes down and shoots you. So make sure you have where you, where you need it is where your T is or whatever you cross. Just one spot on each side and pillar straight up. I'm gonna do this all the way to the very top. I guess I can just hold this down. Do, do, do. Speed this up a little bit here. I'm just going to switch blocks because it doesn't really matter. For now. You get the idea though. You can use any block you want. Alright, we made it to the top. So just select whatever block you want again. And what we're going to do is enclose this entire thing. So we go ahead and just put a roof on it. The roof should be 13 by 13 if I'm not mistaken. Oops. Just fill this all in. Just make sure you have have it to where there's two spaces in here just so things can spawn. Besides intermittent, you don't want three. Make sure it's two. All right, so we have the roof finished. Um, what you're gonna do is just block, pull out these holes right here, or make holes right here, I should say, not pull them out. <laughs> I guess that didn't make sense. Um, what this is gonna be is where the water stream actually goes in. And um, you need four pistons. They could be sticky pistons or regular pistons, depending on how you wanna do it. Um, I'm gonna use regular pistons for mine. I think I can do the rest of this in creative. I think you guys get the point. Pretty sure I can do regular. So grab your redstone supplies. Oh, I had enough. So what we're going to need here is four things of water, um, some repeaters, redstone, torches, pistons, um, power rails, regular rails, detector rails, and one minecart. I think that's all I need. Let me think here. Um, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. Until I start building and realize, oh, I need this. <laughs> um, so, do, 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 do. go ahead and throw down your pistons right here, however you like it. Actually, let me go into, actually, let me just do down here. Let me show you the circuit first. Yeah, let me go ahead and show you the circuit down here before we build it up there. All right, just check my, my test roll just to make sure I had it all correct. All right, this is how I have it. Um, if you, you're pretty uh, knowledgeable about redstone, you can probably find a better way to do it. But, um, this is my method. I have six repeater rails, four powered rails, and six, oops, no, four, four regular rails, sorry about that, in a loop like this for the mine carts, just like that and get our single minecart out here. So what happens is this minecart goes, hits the detector rails, and it powers itself, so you don't need any extra redstone, anything powering the powered rails, just let it do its thing. Um, and then over here, this isn't going to be how it looks up there, I'm just giving you the basic uh, layout first. Um, here we're going to build a string of 4T flip-flops. Let me get 
Let me get something a little more visually appealing than that. Uh, something I can see redstone easy on sand, 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 smooth sand. So good. All right. So this is how you make a. Well, I'm sure there's other ways to make it, but this is the way I always make it. Torch, 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 torch down here. Oops, I forgot. One of the blocks. Actually, let me start over real quick. Sorry about that. <laughs> Get a little bit more explanation in here. Um, dig out two right here. Put a torch, okay? Put a piston, piston. And then put a block over the torch like that. Put a block right here and just like that. So you have four blocks total in each one. Put a torch, torch here. And then take this signal, move it up here. So it makes this L right here, okay? Then come out here. So this is where your next one starts, okay? You're gonna make another one. Make all four of these, just in case you don't understand two flip flops. Right here, pillar up. Or well, not pillar up, but you know what I mean. Redstone, torches, torches. Did I put the torch in there? Sure enough, all right. So, boom, dig. Piston. Make sure you don't use sticky pistons here. Actually, it might work, but no need. So just use regular ones. Oops, forgot the torch down there. Again, <laughs> this might be over engineered. Somebody already told me once it was, but don't worry about it. It'll be alright. It's easy. Easy stuff right here. So, piston, piston torch there, block above the torch, two above that, torch on both sides, and redstone connecting. Alright, so that's it for that. So let me explain exactly what this is right here. Um, this is, let me get a, let's use a note block. Get rid of. I don't need rails anymore. There we go. So every roughly 40 seconds, I, I tweaked it, so I think it's actually a little bit less now. Um, this signal changes. So notice how it just went to that, and we'll watch the T flip flops move. And it's coming up relatively soon. And doink. There, see, and now it's powered. And the next time it's powered is about 40 seconds. So if we watch this for roughly that long, notice how it's about to turn off. Joink, 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 joink. All right, so that's half the time. So our signal is slowly moving through all these T flip flops. And signal again. Alright, so that's one of the timers that I have set up. Um, the next one is a how many second? Uh, I forget. I think I had like 10 seconds or something. We'll see. We'll figure it out. I changed it slightly. But um, what I added to this, let's see if I make this right, was a pulse limiter. I think this site make it is that right? No. Hold on. Let me look how to make this real quick. All right. Sorry about that. I almost had it. Um, what we're going to do from here is build a pulse limiter. What this does is shorten the pulse so our timer doesn't get all funky dunky. So have two blocks right here. Put a um, repeater on third tick. One block or one one torch on the side of this block and one torch on the front of this block. That's where I went wrong. Connect this, put one on top here, and your signal comes out here. So if we power the signal, watch the signal right here. No, I lied. There you go. See how it flickered? Let's see if I can get it to do it again. Flicker. That's all it does. Real short. Even if it stays on, it doesn't do anything. All right. Now, 
This is probably why it's slightly over, over engineered, but it works for me. Um, what I did was made a small looped loop timer or loop uh, crap, what's that thing called? Yeah, this thing. I think that still works. Let me check this, make sure. All right, yep. So um, if we ignore this thing right here, um, if this loop receives power, it never shuts off. So that's what we have right here. Um, from here, put 13 red, um, repeaters at 4 ticks. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay? From here, we need a sticky piston. Right her. I'm really bad at explaining redstone, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, what's he doing down there? Power this sucker up. Make sure you connect here. Alright, what this does, we'll ignore this part right here. Um, oh. <laughs> um, normally, let's break this. When this is powered, it stays on, okay? However, if you complete this circuit over here, what this does, it uh, slowly has the signal come all the way around loop to this uh, piston right here. When this piston um, extends, it takes this block and pushes it over this this redstone right here. When a, when a full block is covering corners of a circuit, it will shut it off. So if we watch this go all the way through here, pushes this this block over here which shuts off this signal because it no longer loops and it takes a while for it to reset so let's go ahead and put this together so that is our timer <laughs> so if we use this as our um, what our final signal is Every roughly 40 seconds, there is a like a 10 second on time. So as you can see here, it's not quite quite 10 seconds. It's probably like five, six or so. So now we have to wait another 40 seconds for this block to light up. What this block is going to represent is our pistons retracting, letting in the water into our mob trap. So we have to put all of this on top of the mob trap. See how it's on? So let's just imagine water rushing through, water rushing through, shut, done. Now things are starting to spawn, spawn again. <sighs> Had to take a drink of coffee. Alright, <clears throat> so we need this up there. <laughs> um... So what I found to be the best is having two layers, again, over-engineered, probably can make it more compact, blah, 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 I got it. Two layers here, okay? Um, I extended this out three total, I believe, just so I had a little bit more room. So I'm going to do this real quick. All right, that's that's finished. And now thinking about it, this looks a little bit big. I think I only extended it two, to be honest. But it'll work regardless. Um, go ahead and grab your power rails first. Detector rail, power rails, detector rails, and regular rails. I don't need that pick anymore. Um, I th believe I put mine right about here. Oops. Oh. Fill this in real quick. There we go. There we go. So detector rail, that's the centerpiece. Powered detector. And then rail rail. Uh let's move all this down. Do 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 power rail this 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 this. And then repeat. Detector power detector. 
Devour and Detector. Grab uh, the minecart. And get her moving. Easy. Okay. So now we don't need any more of these. So from here, what I did, I build, built an inverter right here. I think this is the right way. Is this the right way? Yeah, looks the right way. Um, boop. So what we want to do is go up here and build another layer just like that one. All right, easy peasy. Oh, forgot a spot over here, hold on. All right, from here, we need to figure out where that, oh, you'd be dead, <laughs> signal is coming from. So right above here is where it comes in at. So all we need is that, perfect. And from here, we start making our T flip flops. So go ahead and take that out. Uh, sink it down one. I think this will work. Yeah, I think this will work. Let me make sure real quick <laughs> before you put it this close. I'm trying to save as much room as possible because since we don't have very much. Um, build our T flip flops that we built down there again. Ooh, no. Nope. Nope. My bad. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Um, we need to move it back one more. There we go, because we need that block right there. All right, sorry about that. Um, that, 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 and that. All right, hopefully this is how it should be. All right, let's make sure that this isn't, all right, that piston looks like it's not getting affected by it at all. Good. Um, now that I think about it, this piston, these pistons can be sunk in one to save room. Sorry about that. Go ahead and sink these into the floor. All right. Then again, you can do it however you want. So technically, I don't think that really would have mattered. <laughs> so we're doing the same thing. Another T flip flop. There we go. Torch here. Pillar up. Or nope. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? We need it right here. I bet it just fine down there, then I'm coming up here and messing up. That's what I do. That's where our next T flip flop needs to be. There we go. Perfect. Sorry about that guys. Then tort or her redstone up there and torches on the side. There we go. All right, and now you can loop around a little bit. And then, actually, I guess I did come out three. That looks like it's perfect. Um, actually, I think now, now that I look at it, I think I came over pretty far on this one. And then put. Piston, 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 <laughs> there, piston there, dig this out right here, it's just a matter of trying to get everything to fit into one little area, this travels up here, that and that, we need one more, I feel like I'm having a lot more room this time around. Let me look at the thing, make sure I'm not missing something at the uh, test world. Oh, okay, this is the test world. Um, looks like I didn't really go out nearly as far as I thought I did, but it's it's all the same. So 
I just have one here and it loops around right here then I have three in a row here and then it makes the roof look a little bit better at least so that's all all right back into this world this tutorial is starting to get a little a little junky <laughs> I'm sorry I'm trying to do my best here there we go torch block 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 oops block 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 torch here Redstone, redstone, redstone. All right, so that is all of the um, T flip flops that we need. So if we watch this, it should be changing here shortly. If I did it right, which uh, I think I did. Alright, now I got it. Perfect. Okay. Um, from here, you just throw in your pulse limiter. Make sure you have this repeater on three ticks. One on the side. One on the front. Redstone here, here, and there. And your signal comes out here. Easy stuff. Alright. Now, we need our other timer. So let me think here, how do I want to do this? Let's uh, just go ahead and face it this way. So right here. I think I'm doing this right. All right, so if this gets power, it should stay on. Yep, yep. Actually, let's move this. Why? Because we want the piston coming down from that way. Will that work? Hmm. Ignore me. Just trying to line things up a little bit better. Yeah, this will work right here. There. There. Have the block coming up from here. That should work. All right. Pause should. Oops. Should stay on. Perfect. All right. From here, 13. at four ticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. I believe that's how I have it set. Um, we need a sticky piston. Pushing any block, well, any full block. Don't use a transparent one. Connect the two and ta da! Alright. Now, from here, we need to get to these pistons. Hmm, which way would be the easiest? I guess we can just go from here, right? Oh, nope, nope. Arr. Sorry about that, guys. Boom, fix that. All right, from here, we'll go down this way. So we'll tunnel down here. Should, shouldn't interfere with anything. Do, 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 do. All right, so we just need to get this signal to all of these pistons. Will that line Will that work? Yeah. So all of these pistons. Oh my god, did I just do that again? You gotta be kidding me. Uh, I'm no professional, guys. There we go. Alright. All of these pistons... Oops. I guess I can go from here. Make sure that's... Make sure that doesn't change that any... Alright. Um...
And will we have enough power to get all the way? Nope. If you need to add any repeaters, go ahead. I'm just going to put one right here just to make things simple. Right. And now all you need is to build up just like that. Um, actually, I lied, I lied, I lied. Um, real quick, we need the normal state of these pistons to be powered. So how about we do, oops, I did not mean to break that block. Something of the lines of, I think this will work. Nope. There we go. All right, so just invert it. This is one way to do it. Um, you can also, if you don't like this method, you can bring it down one. Um, put a block right here. Invert it this way. But what this is doing is this, whenever this does get a signal, it inverts this, which shuts it off. Because we want these pistons to be retracted at a certain time instead of being pushed at a certain time so yeah we just need them to be on their normal state to be extended so again just fill up these here I like it better the other way to be honest it's more clean I think Oop. Oop. <laughs> yeah, I like it this way better How I had it. Yeah, close enough. It doesn't matter. So again, do this. Just make in a hole right above here where those pistons are. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, this one right, has a block right here. We'll fix it. So and then once you have that, just in each one of these little wells, put a bucket of water. You need four buckets of water for this. This one's going to be a little tricky. Uh, that should work. And if it flows out, it'll flow that way and not mess up any redstone. So watch out for your redstone if you're trying to do this. So this is definitely a little bit cleaner, I guess, than <laughs> my other one. At least down there it looks like a lot more room. Um, you can either close this in and light it up or just light it up and just forget about it. Just make sure nothing spawns up here. spam these torches you yeah, know we'll just spam them so that's the redstone it's not hard just um, short timer with the yeah I believe that's enough <laughs> a short timer with a uh, minecart and then four T flip flops attached to them um, attached to a pulse limiter attached to a short timer which can probably be improved, but it's good enough for now. <laughs> All right, so that is that. Um, one thing to note, um, if you put your torches where I put my torches, um, all of those ones that you had there will definitely be washed away now since the water will be rushing over it. So it sh they should all be, all the spawning pads should be enabled. Let's go ahead and Break here, just yep, everything's pretty dark. Let me make sure real quick that all right, let's turn to normal and go down into your hole. Mm -hmm. A little bit of lag there. Alright. Ooh, make sure you spot or light up your hole. I can already hear him falling. Go up here. And enjoy. That's pretty much it. Um, trying to think of any anything that I missed. Chances are I missed stuff, so I'm sorry if I did. Um, actually, yeah. Now I think about it, there's a couple. There's definitely one thing that I missed. Um, the reason why I used glass in those um, the spots up there, um, the height of it is three high, so Enderman can spawn in there. And um, zombies, normal things can spawn in there, get trapped in there, which lowers your 
spawn rates. So if you put glass on there, they can't spawn there. That's the reason I had glass in both those spots. Um, what else? Well, hell, as soon as I upload this video, I'm going to think of stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the actual mob trap. As you can see, things are just piling in now. I already got 57 arrows, 60 bones and stuff, and so, um, yeah, it worked pretty well. Simple, simple, simple. Um, the redstone might be crap, to be honest, but it works for me. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about, um, most of you probably already know this, but efficiency of a mob trap. If you guys, um, already know it, just, that's fine by me. You can just close this video out and start building your mob trap. But, um, if you do not know how to do it, or the, some of the basics of mob traps, um, I will let you know what I'm pretty sure I know. <laughs> some of the stuff might not be true. Um, the most important thing of a mob trap is lighting up your entire area in a 256 block diameter. So what that means is wherever you're standing, which is down in this hole, let me get down here real quick, oops, a too far. Alright, so wherever you're standing, mobs spawn within 128 blocks of you in every direction. So 128 that way, that way, that way, that way, you know, all around you. So that makes a circle of 256 diameter, 256 blocks diameter or whatever. So if you have any caves around your area, things will spawn there and not spawn in your trap because there is a maximum amount of mobs that can spawn at any one time, not including spawners. Um, so if something's just chilling out outside of your mob trap, it won't spawn, it won't get pushed down, and it won't you won't get the goods. Um, so that really, really cuts down on your efficiency of your mob trap. So what you need to do is, um, if you know how to make an x-ray machine, just push uh, some tra transparent block over your face when you're in a cave or whatever. Look for areas that aren't lit up around you. Go through there, and just spam torches everywhere. Make sure every single block is light level 8 or higher, I believe it is. Um, so if you, once you do that, everything, everything will spawn inside of your mob trap besides slime. Now, um, slimes also are part of that mob mob limit, all right? So what you need to do is um, like half slab or use water or something in those chunks that um, you don't want slimes. So um, if I remember, I will put the app down or the web website that I use that... Um, it shows you where what chunks specific chunks uh, slime spawn there's a lot of videos out there that can show you how to find those those chunks so what you need to do is um, what I think is probably the easiest is go in and half slab that entire area every single surface in those slime chunk areas Ooh, starting to lag my computer a bit <laughs> so many items look at them all <laughs> so um yeah and once you do that everyone's everything in your entire 256 block diameter spawning area is lit up and once you half slab it to where absolutely no slimes can spawn um then everything that spawns will be in your mob trap so that's what I have here, um, daytime, so nothing spawning up here. Um, if for some reason, yeah, during nighttime, here, let me switch to night real quick. All right, now we're nighttime, so now we're gonna have a bunch of mobs spawning out here, okay? So this is going to cut down our mobs in our area tremendously. 
Let's pick it up here. Come on. There we go. It'll just... It, they're still falling. Yeah, I get that. But a lot slower because the mobs out there are taking up part of the um, uh, spawn cap. See? Slow. Slow as balls. <laughs> you don't want that. So, um, even the uh, your surface area, either slab it, um, light it up, do something, throw water on it. If you want to build this in the middle of an ocean where there's absolutely no landmass, see, they're just it's just going to kill your. Um, I think it's raining. Yeah, it's raining. You can't tell though because I have the rain particles off. Um, yeah. If you have one water, no, there's no landmass, things can't spawn there. So that will help your spawn rates. Oops. Let me switch over again. Alright, what else is there? I know there's so much more. Um, oops, let me kill all these. Boop. Let me think real quick. Mm. Let's talk about multiplayer service with this thing. If you're playing on a server and there is somebody in their area, like doesn't matter where they are, unless they're talking about Nether or whatever. I'm not, I don't know the how Nether and the N changes things. I think they're on separate spawn caps, but I might be wrong. Um, but um, if somebody's you know five thousand blocks that way, two hundred blocks that way, anything, um, and if they don't have all their caves lit up. Um, even if you do, it's going to slow your crap down because things are spawning in there, around them, and not around you. So, um, this thing works best when uh, built in a single player world or when you're alone on a server, I guess. As with every mob trap, just about, that I can think of at least. So that is one big deal about efficiency there. Alright, the last thing that I can think of right now, um, I don't really know too much about this, I just heard about it, but um, I guess if you build anything above 128, we're at 126 right now, technically, because we're at 125, but the redstone's here, so redstone's actually at 126, um, try your absolute best not to build above 128. I won't even hit 120. Just hit 127. So just put a roof on it. Done. That should be 127 right here. Um, I guess if you build above that it will slow down your spawn rates because something about it's uh, trying to read the extra chunks or something like that above you. So just I won't even worry about it. Just you can probably add a couple of layers onto this if you wanted and break it and test it out or break the the cap or whatever test it out but um, I think this works fine for me so I'm just gonna leave it how it is um, mm, now I think about it I should talk about this earlier to be honest um, if you don't want all this junk up here what you could do is Build it down into your hole. Let me find that hole. Do, 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 do. Mm. All right, you could build it. Oh man, these items are killing my frame rate. What are you doing here? Yeah, there we go. Let me just turn peaceful. <laughs> All right, too many items. Got it. Um, like if you want to, you could build it down here. This is what I was thinking about doing, to be honest. Fill in this hole. Build it down here. Um, blah, 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 blah. Just clear out an entire area. You're going to be down here anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. It'll be easier accessible if you want to change something later. Um, and then, just have your signal go straight up. So, what you do is, like, have the, the signal that comes out of the um, repeater timer goes into here, uh, hits this block, and just build this up like this. Just keep doing this. Um, stone repeater, or block repeater, block repeater, or repeater, ah, damn it. Um, 
block with torch on top, block, torch on top, block, torch on top, on top, block, you know, just keep um, alternating it. And, um, oops, you can have it right against here, actually, I think. Yeah, so you'll come out here and just run it up wherever you want it. Doesn't matter where. I guess that will work too, but just keep going it up. Build it all the way up here until you get like about right here or so. And then put right here and then do the same thing you had over here. That's where the torch is and just run it to the um, pistons which are right here. So, And it'll work the same. I didn't do it be um, yet because I didn't want a bunch of torches on the side but might end up doing it. So that's another way, and if you do it that way, I'm tr probably just confusing people now, I apologize. Um, if you do it that way, you can add an extra layer in here. Maybe two. One. Yeah, you can probably add two more layers in here and still be under the 128 cap. So if you want an extra couple layers, um, do it that way. Just have the um, signal traveling straight up and then hitting the pistons when it comes up here. So if you know redstone, it's easy. But, uh, oh man, it's killing me going down there. <laughs> Might be all the squid, yep. <laughs> Another thing, notice how I'm getting all these ink sacks. Um, if you don't have any water around you, squid will spawn in there. Um, right now in 1.4, squid spawning is just crazy. So if you're in the ocean, you don't have to worry about it. Um, I don't know if it really slows it down. At first it did, but then it didn't. It was really weird. So it wasn't too big of a deal. I just left it. But if you build an ocean, you don't have to worry about squids pretty much. But, um, yeah. One more thing. All right, I have this fancy cheaty texture pack. But um, let's go ahead and watch it. Just see what it does. I don't know how well you guys can see, but um, that notice how the actually hold on. Let me see if I can get night vision. I think you'll be able to see a little bit better if I do this. Yeah, there we go. All right. So this is what happens. Things are spawning, and they all get pushed into the center and then they fall. So that's just the inside. I just want to show you real quick exactly what's happening. And the water just keeps traveling down, pushes them, finished. And they fall at least 24 blocks, minimum. And some of them drop 100 blocks. <laughs> and there's the squid chilling out. They might slow down a little bit, but not too awfully much. It doesn't, didn't really bother me too much. And already the next wave's coming. Easy, easy. So, um, I haven't looked at how how long I've been recording. I feel like I've been doing this f all morning. So um, this might get might be a little long. If it is, I apologize, guys. Um, I just wanted to make sure. Wow, well, I'm liking a lot. It's probably all that. Oops, I accidentally stopped recording. So I went ahead and changed back to my texture back. My original texture pack. Um, yeah, so sorry if it's long. I haven't checked yet. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to help you out. But um, hopefully, at least besides <laughs> redstone, I explained it pretty well. The redstone might still be a little funky. But just remember, just all you really need is this short minecart timer, 4T flip-flops, pulse limiter, and this 13 repeater timer that's it and you can build it down there and just have it the signal travel up so um yeah as always um thanks everyone for watching um if you're new let me know what you thought Whoop. hey back there you go. yeah take them all <laughs> and um yeah if you're new if you're new to my channel let me know what you thought of my video and um if you do happen to build this in your your survival world let me know how it works as always 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. This was Hasty.